Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave alongside friend of tested Sean Charlesworth. Hello. How are you, sir? Good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Um, we've had some businesses transact here at Tested, and a lot of people are, are in today. It's a fun sort of gathering. And you brought a toy for me to see. Yeah, I just brought it in because I thought, I, well, I always take bets with myself. About Does Adam know about this and or does he have one? So this I, is the I thing is, the answer to both of those questions is no. I did not know this object existed. I do not have one. I have taken some pictures so I can go find one because yeah. this is amazing. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to say right now off that this is a spur of the moment show and tell. So I, yes. may, I may not have my, all my facts right. So Fair. I apologize for that. But, but I'll do the best I can. But you found this. <laughs> Years ago, or so you no, found this recently, recently at Urban Ore. Yes, our favorite junk store. One of the great junk stores of all junk stores in Berkeley, California. Um, <laughs> I've been shopping there for over 30 years. They're fantastic. Yeah, and you found this there. Yeah. Uh, okay. I So I should give a shout out to uh, Techmoan, which is a great YouTube channel yep. that reviews and shows uh, obscure AV equipment. I believe that Tecmoan is the research I did for figuring out which is the specific Japanese recorder from Man from that Mind That sounds exactly right. Yes. So uh, he's out of the UK. I yep. love his channel. This is one of the things he uh, sh uh, featured. This is and a, as soon as I saw it on the shelf in Urban, I was like, ooh. And yeah. this is a recording playback device. It's a playback That's device. That's what I mean. Playback device. Right. Yeah. So a playback or recording. Um, on a special media. Very special. I didn't know about the media. I didn't know about the machine. You're, yeah, so shall we? Yeah, let's right. do it. So you pull down on that lever yeah. there and oh, here we oh, are. Just... This, this is the Teffy phone. The Teffy phone? Teffy phone. And I'll pull. T-E-F-I. I'll pull these cartridges out. Mm -hmm. German. German. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> so. I'm sure some people are like, what, what, what is happening? What's going on here? Well, so I actually, I, there's so much to go over, but the very first thing I want to point out is look at how beautiful this ancient masking tape is. And holy hell, yeah. like I'm, I'm going to take a close up picture of this with my phone because if I was doing ancient masking tape on a prop, I would not know that overlapping masking tape would make it darker that this color value is surprising to me and it's go. gotta be in the research and, file. And I think this is, I think these are actual repairs to the cartridge to keep them I believe <laughs> you're right. I, probably Yeah. Okay, so, so describe what the hell this thing right. does. So it's it's a tape record player is the best way to describe it. Because this looks this, like a tape. This is on an endless loop, kind of like, I believe, eight tracks were done that way, so that it just keeps looping and looping. And I see grooves And here. it has grooves like a record. <laughs> so it's so, it's effectively a needle-based playback system, like a record. Yep. Very but, very similar material, but very it's like, it's like those flexi discs that you get in a magazine. I didn't... Like, it's that kind of material, I How think. have I never heard it's of this so thing? It's so freaking weird. I love it. It's and the amazing. only, so th the question is, why the heck would you make something like this? Right. And as far as I know, it's German. Uh, they were made in the 50s and 60s, I believe. They didn't have a real long run, because, you know, cassettes started coming out like late 60s, early 70s, I right, think. Right, And But I think the reason this was done is that this is a smaller cartridge. This is an hour long. Uh -huh. You can get a bigger cartridge that takes up this whole space. You can fit four hours of music on it. So well, I think it was but, their answer to fitting a lot of stuff in a small space. An hour of music in this little thing is yeah. itself impressive. And I think there's smaller ones that do 15 minutes. Can they also just say, look at this beautiful, I know. beautiful design. These color choices, the font kerning, the readability, the communicability. That is like beautiful mid-century design yeah really nicely done and we got bakelite we got the hammered stuff we got this awesome grill and apparently this one's an oddball most of them were just this unit oh really so and, they didn't have the speaker playback. yeah and then you had uh you had an output cord they were mostly mono this is a mono they very briefly did a stereo one really? and so this one it seems to be somewhat unusual most of the ones that are like this had a radio so there's a radio dial up here. This one just has an amplifier. Wow. Uh, which I don't see. And you never see these in the U.S. As far as uh, I can't. I'm sad find. about that. I will start looking <laughs> so, now. But great, great Urban Ore story. I, when I got it, it was yeah. just this in the right. cover. Okay. So not and, these. And, yeah. And these, I knew these are going to be expensive to get. And I was like, ah, oh, and it's going to have to come from Europe. Ghost. 
No, at least it's not the important thing tipping yeah. over. There we go. Uh, these are kind of hard to find and you typically would probably have to get them from Europe. So it's like, well, here comes the hunt. Right, so right, urban right. Oil eBay. Is always, yeah, UK. Urban Oil is always great about putting little notes on the stuff like tested, this works, this doesn't work, et cetera. Urban Oil does that. Yeah, yeah, and I get it home and it's like two two sound books in cord at front desk. And it was like, whoo, whoo. So I like, I immediately got in the car, drove 20 minutes back. I was like, hey, I saw this note on this thing. Do you have that? And they're like, yeah, well, here they are. So These like, two yeah. completely rare unicorns, yeah, so we've so. got them. Anyway, so we should we should show how this works. It, it actually works. Yeah. Oh. I had to do a little unjamming on the motor, but overall. Fair, so it had fair. this basically giant capstan. Yeah. And I'm going to plug it in here. And... And because these are kind of rare in the U.S., we, I was lucky that this is a 110 60 hertz. Oh my God, look um, at that needle. Yeah. So basically, you, you pull, the, pull the ribbon out. Sure. You pop it over the capstan, and it has a drive wheel. Right, I see a little registration mark yeah. there and a mark there. It can only no, spin in one direction. There's a rubber pad that's usually on here for a little grippy, but I, I'm missing that. Ah, fair. Um, and then you power it up. What? Starts going. And we're gonna engage, it has a soft touch needle, so it has a dampening on the needle. Oh. Mine's a little slow, so it's going, it's going in a little slower than normal. And we're gonna turn on the amp. Oh, hold on a second. We might be at the end of a song. There we go. the perfect music to come out of this machine. It's bonkers. So then you can change tracks by pushing in the little index wheel and then it'll move the needle up and down on the tape. Oh my God. Yeah. So when you're doing that, you're literally pushing the needle itself <laughs> yep. and then just adjusting it down. Yeah. <laughs> now, the one thing I can't figure out, I believe that the, the tracks are laid down like in a helical pattern, kind of like VHS would be. Right. So I think you don't know what it does when it gets all the way to the end of well, it? Well, I think what happens is if you go to these, here, I'll turn this down a little bit. I think when you go to these numbers, these are going to the tracks and you can see the tracks are listed on the oh, on the tape. Really? But I think if you go in between, it's skipping further into the song. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so blown away by this that I never it's... even knew such a thing existed. But also look at how beautiful it is. I know. That right there. I know. Like a hammerite red background with <laughs> gold. Like that is some shit. So we got some of the the um, the alligator skin stuff. Right? And, yeah. This is like it's like all of the Star Trek props, <laughs> all at once. It's like we got six communicators out of this thing. Well, it would definitely fit into a TOS. Uh, really, you know. Really, really would. So that's so that's this, the engage. So you can disengage there, yeah. and then it turns. The That's the on and there. off switch. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Sean, this is so beautiful. And, and they had a variety of this. So we have some orchestral stuff here. These are, these are like more like dance tunes. They had a various different, you know, cassettes you, or cartridges you can get. And like I said, up some up to four hours long. What, what a bonkers device though. <laughs> Wait, and it's a Teffy phone. Teffy phone. Teffy phone. I believe, I think the, the company itself was Teffy and I, they right, made right. radios and actual, I think record players. And right. then this is the, yeah, the Teffy phone. Dude, what a magnificent <laughs> brand new object in my, in my experiential, uh, in my experience. And that, uh, is that uh, that's the output that's the output so you can you could put it to an external device oh wow yeah. okay so yeah. you could out you could play it out to something else yeah because some of these a lot of these didn't have the amplifier so you'd have to have right, an external right. like you know stereo or amp to put it into amazing. but amazing yeah oh my god um, well, i'm glad you liked it yeah hey if you grew up listening to one of these we totally want to hear your story in the comments <laughs> all the folks from germany <laughs> yeah exactly dude thank you for bringing this in it's um, so I, amazing i take great pride in, in revealing something you didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, so check out Techmoan's site. He has two different, two or three different videos on this. Has a lot more information than I can provide. Fabulous, yeah. fabulous. Well, thanks for doing the impromptu show and tell. Thank Anytime. you guys for joining us. And uh, Yeah, yes. happy new year. See you next time.
Thank you so much for supporting us by watching this channel. You can support us on an even deeper level by heading over to tested-store.com and picking up one of our tested embroidered baseball caps. We got your normal baseball cap, we got your flex fits, and we got flex fit truckers, and we are just starting to play around with lots of new designs, so check back regularly. Thanks.